Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the White House. Everybody looks wonderful. Uh, this is a truly special evening, and we are delighted to celebrate it uh, with so many people from so many different walks of life. Uh, it is not often that you get Dikembe Matumbo, <laughs> Steve Case, Stevie Wonder, all in the same room. Uh, in fact, that may be the first time that they were ever in the same sentence. Um, we have uh, just one of my favorite people uh, performing tonight, Katy Perry. We are so grateful to her. I, uh, I, uh, I love Katy Perry. She's just a wonderful person. Uh, I've just met her mom. Now I know why she's a, such a wonderful person. But I just want everybody to know she's on tour right now. Uh, and so for her to take time out to do this is really uh, special. And so we really want to say thank you for her doing, for doing this. Um, the fact that uh, so many uh, accomplished, wonderful people are here uh, is a testament to the impact that the Special Olympics has had on our nation and has had on our world. You know, this organization has touched so many lives. And tonight, Michelle and I are thrilled uh, that we get a chance to say thank you uh, to everyone who's been a part of it. Uh, when, when Eunice uh, Kennedy Shriver began what would become the Special Olympics in her backyard over 50 years ago, uh, it's not clear whether she could imagine how far and how fast uh, it would end up going. Of course, knowing her, she probably did have a sense of where it was going to go. Uh, that's the kind of visionary that she was. Uh, I want to recognize all the members of the Shriver family uh, who are here tonight and who uh, continue to carry on uh, her, uh, the family's incredible uh, tradition of service. Uh, thank you. Today, in more than 170 countries, Special Olympians are athletes of all kinds, skiers and speed skaters, sailors, cyclists, equestrians uh, and judo masters. They make extraordinary contributions to their communities, and I'm proud, proud to uh, highlight a few of them here tonight. Uh, Loretta Claiborne didn't just finish with the top 100 women runners in Boston Marathon twice. Uh, she was also the first Special Olympian to speak to world leaders during the United Nations General Assembly. So we're very proud of Loretta. There's Loretta right here. There she is. Hey, uh, by the way, during the receiving line, Loretta and Michelle compared arms. Um, yeah, they were. Tim Harris is a Special Olympian in basketball, uh, poly hockey, volleyball, golf, and track and field, so he has all four seasons covered. Uh, now he has a restaurant in Albuquerque called Tim's Place. The most popular item is the hug Tim's gives his customers. And so far, more than 42,000 have been served. So where's Tim? There he is right there. Hey, Tim. Tim. <laughs> Tim's fired up. Tim is, Tim is fired up. Although, Tim, I didn't get a hug. Come on, man. Oh, here we go. All right. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, bud. I love you, Obama. I love you, Obama. Presidents need some encouragement once in a while, too. <laughs> you know, that, that felt really good. That was nice. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> uh, Brina K. Uh, Maxino represented the Asia Pacific region at the Special Olympics Global Youth Activation Summit when she was 16 years old. She was the first Filipina and the first teenager with Down syndromes to do that. So let's give Brina uh, a big round of applause. Hey, Brina. And uh, 
Dion uh, Nemeseb was a captain of Namibia's soccer team when they won silver in the 2007 World Games. Now he's a coach. He mentors orphans. He advocates for the rights of Namibians with intellectual disabilities. We are very proud of Dion. Here he is right here. Dion. Hey. Dustin Plunkett competed at the 2007 World Games too. He shared the stage with Yao Ming. Uh, he says, Special Olympics saved my life. And now he's recruiting coaches so the Special Olympics can keep on growing. Dustin, where are you? There he is. Thank you, Dustin. Proud of you. And Ricardo Thornton Sr. Uh, is here with his wife, wife, Donna. He is an international ambassador for Special Olympics, a longtime employee of the Martin Luther King Memorial Library here in Washington, a proud father, a proud grandfather. I recently appointed him to the President's Committee for People with Intellectual Disabilities. Uh, a wonderful man. Please give uh, Ricardo a big round of applause. And Frank uh, Stevens is a Special Olympian from Virginia, and he's proud to be a global messenger. Uh, once spoke before a crowd of 10,000, writes eloquently about the pain and exclusion that comes when others don't ex accept you or, or treat you with the respect every human being deserves. Um, I'm very lucky, Frank uh, has written. Even though I was born with this intellectual disability, I do pretty well and have a good life. I live and work in the community. I count as friends the people I went to school with and the people I met in my job. Every day, I get closer to living a life like yours. Being compared to people like me, he once wrote, should be considered a badge of honor. No one overcomes more than we do and still loves life so much. Um, give Frank a big round of applause. So, uh, you know, what Frank wrote, uh, what all these people represent, uh, is what the Special Olympics is all about. Overcoming obstacles with love and kindness and generosity uh, and healthy competition. It's about pride and it's about teamwork and it's about friendship and it's about treating everybody with dignity and giving everybody a chance. Um, so. Those values are values that uh, everybody could use. Those are values that uh, the Special Olympics can teach all of us. And so it makes a lot of sense uh, that the Special Olympics began here in America, uh, a nation founded on the principles of human equality, on the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for everybody, not just for some. Uh, a few organizations exemplify that principle and that promise better than this one. So I want to thank all of you for being a part of the Special Olympics. We are getting excited for the World Games in L.A. next year. And we hope you have a wonderful evening tonight. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Good. Eat up. <laughs>